called off. As of now, I don't have a comment on like the status of the relationship per se. What I and there will always be a tether to him no matter what. I, I can't say for sure what the capacity will be, but I will always be connected to him some. So here's the scoop on Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly's relationship roller coaster. Megan herself spilled the tea on the Call Her Daddy podcast with Alex Cooper. Yep, she confirmed that their engagement hit the brakes last year, and she's now putting a lid on discussing their love life in the media. Her man in, in there with her. That's he had this, wild. Like, baby's arm of a joint dangling out of his <laughs> mouth. I was like, hey, Megan, um, you know, I wanted to talk to you about this moment. And he just went ballistic. Words. Several days later, Fox deleted all of her photos with the rocker from her Instagram, unfollowed him, and posted a series of photos with the Beyonce lyrics. You can taste the dishonesty. It's all over your breath as the caption. During the podcast chat, Alex brought up the engagement, the breakup, and the whole confusion surrounding their status. Megan nodded along, confirming that, yeah, all those ups and downs did happen. How tall are you? That's how you do it. She got real about how being in the spotlight can turn your personal life into public property, and she's had enough of that. Megan basically said, hey, what happens between me and Colson? AKA Machine Gun Kelly, stays between us. She did drop a hint though, calling Coulson her twin soul and acknowledging that there's a bond between them that won't just vanish into thin air. But as for the nitty gritty details, nope, she's keeping those under wraps. Because I was young and really should not have been in a relationship of that, that level of commitment and that magnitude, with the, I, I shouldn't have been involved in that when I was People on Reddit had an interesting reaction to what was going on. One person said, I am sick and tired of celebrities harassing us with unwanted, unnecessary, and useless information. Another person added, Also, he's not ahead of his time with blackout tattoos, Meg. Polynesians have been doing this style of art forever now. And not to mention, blackout tattooing has become pretty popular in the mainstream within the last 10, 15 years. MGK isn't that cool, sorry. And this person felt that, Thank God we don't have to see them sucking each other's tongues anymore. Y'all both need to do some soul searching. And please don't tell me they buy into the twin flame nonsense. That, that shit is a cult. Let's rewind a bit. Megan and Coulson's love story kicked off back in 2020 and hit a high note when they announced their engagement in early 2022. They were all about sharing their romance with the world, even gracing the cover of British GQ together in 2021. But then things took a turn in 2023 when Megan cleared out their couple pics from Instagram, sending the rumor mill into overdrive. So let's talk about Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly, Hollywood's hot topic du jour. These two have been in the limelight for a while now, but lately their relationship is facing some serious scrutiny. If you're an Instagram sleuth, you might have noticed a shift in their relationship status. The once inseparable couple seems to be drifting apart especially after Megan's cryptic Instagram post quoting Beyonce about dishonesty. And then came the social media cleanse. She unfollowed Coulson, AKA Machine Gun Kelly, and even deleted her entire account. Drama alert. A close friend let slip that things are rocky between them, hinting that this time it might be serious. Their relationship has always been a bit tumultuous, with rumors and whispers following them since day one. From quirky confessions to intense PDA, there have been plenty of signs pointing to trouble. Back in 2013, when MGK was 23 and on the rise as a musician, he mentioned in an interview that Kendall Jenner was his celebrity crush. Now, Kendall was just 17 at the time, so understandably, eyebrows were raised. When the interviewer made a questionable comment about waiting until Kendall turned 18, MGK didn't exactly diffuse the situation. He made some remarks that, let's be honest, were pretty cringeworthy. Fast forward to more recent events. During their first Valentine's Day together, MGK posted a pic on Instagram showing off a necklace supposedly containing drops of Megan Fox's blood. While some might see it as a romantic gesture, others couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. It's a bold move and some fans couldn't shake off the feeling that it might signal a possessive streak or an intensity in the relationship that's, well, a bit concerning. In a recent documentary detailing his journey to stardom, MGK, 
Machine Gun Kelly, opened up about a distressing incident from the early stages of his relationship with Megan Fox. He recounted a moment of intense emotional turmoil where, feeling unsupported, he confronted Fox over the phone, even going so far as to put a gun in his mouth. In the documentary, MGK shared, I called Megan. I was like, you aren't here for me, revealing his heightened emotional state during the call. He described the harrowing experience, recalling, I'm in my room and I'm like freaking out on her. Dude, I put the shotgun in my mouth. Fortunately, the situation did not escalate further as the shotgun malfunctioned, preventing any tragic outcome. MGK admitted that something inside him just fucking snapped in those moments. Reflecting on the incident, MGK explained that Fox remained silent on the other end of the line, eventually managing to get him the help he needed. However, Fox herself has not publicly discussed the impact of the phone call on her or whether she sought support following the ordeal. Shifting gears, another aspect of MGK and Fox's relationship that has drawn attention is the intense adoration they expressed for each other. MGK spoke about how Fox became the center of his world, likening her to the sun in his life and describing their love as a fairy tale. Fox reciprocated this sentiment by describing MGK as both magical and haunted, kinetic and tortured in a poem she wrote for him. Machine Gun Kelly, or MGK, burst onto the music scene with his debut album Lace Up back in 2012, and he's been a steady presence ever since. His 2020 album, Tickets to My Downfall, marked a significant milestone for him, grabbing the coveted number one spot on the Billboard 200 chart. Fans were thrilled, showering him with love and support. However, despite the commercial success, MGK found himself puzzled by the Recording Academy's oversight as he didn't receive a Grammy nomination. He didn't hold back his frustration, taking to Twitter to question, UTF is wrong with the Grammys. Beyond his music, MGK often finds himself in the spotlight for various reasons. From his surprising net worth to his decision to change his name, he's no stranger to making headlines. But perhaps nothing has intrigued the public more than his relationship with Megan Fox. Their romance has been subject to scrutiny, with MGK often having to defend their love amidst a barrage of wild stories. Tales of his attempts to impress Fox, like the incident where he accidentally stabbed himself or their extravagant engagement celebrations, have kept tongues wagging. Even their engagement ring, a unique piece that stands out from the rest, has garnered attention. Despite his frequent presence in the media, there's still much about MGK that remains unknown to many. Delving into his backstory reveals a host of surprising and eyebrow-raising facts, including some shady moments that might raise a few eyebrows. One such incident involved MGK stirring controversy by openly admiring Eminem's daughter, Haley Jade, on Twitter back in 2012 when she was just 16. He found himself embroiled in a feud with Eminem over the remarks, with MGK defending himself by arguing that he meant no disrespect. Despite the backlash, he stood by his comments, although in later interviews he seemed to express regret and understanding of the situation. Meanwhile, Haley herself reportedly prefers to stay out of the spotlight and was not pleased about being caught in the crossfire between her father and MGK. Machine Gun Kelly has found himself under scrutiny not just once, but multiple times for his comments and behavior involving underage girls. Despite his insistence that he meant no harm when complimenting Eminem's then 16-year-old daughter Haley Jade as hot as fee fike, his past actions have sparked concerns. In December 2021, Screenshot pointed out MGK's troubling history of interactions with teenagers, citing a series of now-deleted tweets. In one tweet, MGK expressed discomfort about finding 13, 14, and 15-year-old girls attractive, wishing they weren't considered as such to avoid feeling like a creep hair. Another tweet recounted an encounter with a 13-year-old fan and seemingly made a reference to R. Kelly, known for his own controversial involvement with underage girls. In a candid revelation back in 2018, Eminem laid bare the true source of his ire towards MGK. It wasn't just about a mention of his daughter Haley during Kelly's press rounds, but rather a claim that struck at the core of Eminem's pride. MGK's assertion of being banned from Eminem's Shade 45 channel due to a tweet in 2015 set the stage for an escalating war of words. 
Slim Shady, not one to mince words, unleashed his fury during an interview, dismissing Kelly's relevance in the rap landscape with brutal candor. Adding fuel to the fire was MGK's alleged diss on Tekken 9's track, No Reason, a move that left Eminem feeling compelled to respond, but reluctant to elevate Kelly's status by acknowledging him further. However, the release of Not Alike saw Eminem confronting Kelly head-on, brushing off MGK's subsequent response, Rap Devil, as lacking the bite of a genuine diss and instead branding it as pitiful. Meanwhile, in another corner of the celebrity arena, Machine Gun Kelly's romantic entanglements made headlines of their own. Amidst his high-profile relationship with Megan Fox, revelations surfaced from model Summer Rae, shedding light on alleged infidelity. Ray's candid account on Logan Paul's podcast painted a picture of betrayal, with claims that Kelly strayed during their time together, ultimately leading to his involvement with Fox. Ray recounted instances where she felt sidelined, including being barred from Kelly's video shoot for Bloody Valentine under the guise of COVID restrictions, only to later discover his apparent rendezvous with Fox. Despite feeling blinsited, Ray expressed a surprising lack of bitterness, attributing the situation to Kelly's character rather than her own boundaries. Corey Taylor, the frontman of Slipknot, had a disagreement with Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, in February 2021. Taylor seemed to criticize MGK's transition from rap to rock during an interview on Cutter's Rockcast. He expressed his disdain for artists who switch genres after failing in one. MGK responded to Taylor's comments during a performance at Riot Fest in September, where he made a derogatory remark about Taylor's age and appearance. In retaliation, MGK took to Twitter to criticize Taylor further. He claimed that Taylor had recorded a verse for one of MGK's songs, but it was so bad that MGK decided not to use it. MGK alleged that Taylor was bitter about it and talked negatively about him. However, Taylor refuted these claims by providing evidence that he declined to do the track because he preferred not to have others write for him. He shared screenshots of text messages to support his side of the story. Despite Taylor's evidence, MGK refused to admit he was wrong and continued to belittle Taylor's verse. In another incident in May 2021, a TikTok video went viral, accusing MGK of mistreating a fan during a meeting in Cleveland. The fan, a Yemi Lamp claimed that MGK became verbally abusive towards her, calling her derogatory names and swearing at her. She recounted an incident where MGK reacted angrily when she referred to him as sis while handing him his hat. Other fans corroborated her claims, sharing similar negative experiences they had with MGK. Additionally, MGK faced backlash for racially insensitive comments he made during an interview at the 2012 BET Awards. He made inappropriate remarks about black women and their sexual abilities, which led to widespread condemnation. A petition was launched demanding accountability from MGK's record labels for his racist remarks. MGK also verbally attacked a woman who walked away from him during the incident, using derogatory language and insults. Despite the criticism and backlash, MGK stood by his comments, insisting that they were compliments rather than offensive remarks. March 9, 2020 marked the beginning of Megan Fox and Colson Baker's love story, better known as Machine Gun Kelly, MGK. Their paths first crossed on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass, where filming commenced in March 2020. Megan felt an immediate and intense connection with the musician. She described feeling a sense of foreboding and excitement, unsure of what was to come, but deeply moved by their encounter. Coulson, too, expressed a similar sentiment to Howard Stern, admitting that he only understood the concept of true love after locking eyes with Megan. The romantic rumors began circulating in May 2020, when paparazzi captured Megan sitting in the passenger seat of MGK's Aston Martin, igniting speculation about their relationship. Later that month, their chemistry was put on full display in the music video for MGK's song, Bloody Valentine, where Megan starred alongside him, sharing intimate moments that set tongues wagging. By May 25th, 2020, just two months after meeting, Megan declared her love for MGK, a milestone they commemorated publicly on Twitter a year later. Their affection for each other continued to blossom, evident when they were spotted kissing outside a Los Angeles bar in mid-June. 
Coulson made their relationship official on social media, likening their romance to art imitating life. As filming for their movie resumed in July, Megan and MGK returned to work as a couple, enjoying each other's company both on and off set. They shared affectionate posts on social media, expressing their love and admiration for one another. Megan's openness to love also played a significant role in MGK's life, as he revealed to Howard Stern in September 2020, marking a new chapter in their relationship. Their first official date on September 24, 2020 was an adventurous one, with Megan bravely descending from a balcony in heels. Their subsequent date was even more daring, involving swimming with sharks, showcasing the adventurous spirit and deep connection between the two. On September 25, 2020, fans of Matching the Gun Kelly, MK, were treated to a special surprise on his fifth studio album. Interludes on the album featured a familiar voice, revealing intimate details of the couple's bond. In a track titled Banyan Tree, MGK shared a heartfelt moment where he mentioned his partner getting his initials tattooed on her, while he reciprocated by tattooing her nickname on himself. Just four days later, on September 29, 2020, Megan Fox made another appearance as a video vixen in MGK's song Drunk Face. The video showcased various intimate moments between the couple, including Megan painting MGK's nails and sharing affectionate gestures, further solidifying their public image as a devoted pair. The couple's red carpet debut finally arrived on November 22, 2020, at the American Music Awards. Megan stunned in a hunter green ensemble, while MGK donned a distinctive white suit. This event marked not only their first official red carpet appearance, but also revealed Megan's new tattoo reading El Pistolero on her collarbone, a term of endearment for MGK. In October 2020, MGK opened up to NME about the impact of their relationship on his music, acknowledging Megan's role in his personal growth and artistic inspiration. Megan, too, expressed her deep feelings for MGK in a Nylon interview in November, likening her love for him to the intensity of natural forces, like a tsunami or a forest fire. As the year came to a close, the couple shared a tender moment on New Year's Eve, captured by photographers after MGK's performance in Times Square. Speculation about their future intensified when Megan was spotted wearing a large ring on her finger during an outing in New York City on January 27, 2021. While Megan clarified the ring's message on social media, sources hinted at the possibility of marriage and children for the couple in the future. On February 14, 2021, MGK and Megan commemorated Valentine's Day in a unique way. MGK revealed that he wears a necklace containing Megan's DNA, a gift symbolizing their deep connection. Megan reciprocated with a heartfelt Instagram post, expressing her love for MGK and their shared journey together. On May 23, 2021, Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, had a memorable night at the 2021 Billboard Music Awards, where he received two significant music awards, Top Rock Artist and Top Rock Album. During his acceptance speech, he expressed gratitude to his girlfriend, Megan Fox, whom he referred to as his twin soul for showing him love. Megan, who was present in the audience, had been supporting him throughout the event. Earlier on the red carpet, the couple made quite an impression with their public display of affection, PDA. Megan wore a striking muggler dress, while MGK caught attention with his black painted tongue, adding a touch of edgy flair to their appearance. Just a few days later, on May 27, 2021, MGK and Megan continued their streak of glamorous appearances at the iHeartRadio Music Awards. They arrived together, coordinated in their attire yet again. Megan donned a stylish bubblegum pink satin jumpsuit, while MGK opted for a white and silver tuxedo with pink detailing, showcasing their undeniable chemistry on the red carpet. On October 11, 2021, the couple graced the cover of British GQ Style, offering fans insights into their relationship. Although their official romance began on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass, they had actually crossed paths years earlier at a party in Los Angeles. Megan recalled the amusing encounter, describing MGK as a tall, blonde figure with a distinct aroma of weed. Despite their initial meeting, neither of them remembers seeing each other's faces clearly. In a playful video accompanying the cover shoot, MGK and Megan tested each other's knowledge, 
with MGK attempting to name Megan's tattoos while she effortlessly recited his entire astrological chart. Their love story reached a milestone on January 12th, 2022, when MGK and Megan announced their engagement on Instagram. Megan shared a heartwarming video of the proposal set under a banyan tree where their love had blossomed. The engagement ring held special significance, featuring both a diamond and an emerald, symbolizing their birthstones and their intertwined souls. MGK described the design as two magnetic bands of thorns drawing together as two halves of the same soul, forming an obscure heart representing their love. Yes, taking off Megan Fox's engagement ring is intentionally designed to cause discomfort. Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, explained the intricacies of the ring's design in an interview with Vogue. The ring features a Colombian emerald without any treatment, carved into a teardrop shape directly from the mine, and a diamond sourced from Stephen Webster. The unique concept of the ring allows it to be separated into two rings, held together by a magnet when worn. The bands of the ring are designed to resemble thorns, so if Megan tries to remove it, it would cause discomfort. MGK humorously remarked that love is pain. However, on February 13, 2022, sources reported to People magazine that Megan was upset and had removed her engagement ring after a recent fight with MGK. Although the engagement hadn't been officially called off, Megan's actions indicated tension in their relationship. This incident seemed more serious than past issues they had faced. Megan posted a picture on Instagram on February 12th, 2022, with a caption referencing lyrics from Beyonce's song, Pray You Catch Me, from her album Lemonade. The caption hinted at feelings of dishonesty and betrayal. In one of the photos, Megan is seen apparently burning letters. A fan speculated in the comments that MGK might have cheated on Megan with his guitarist, Sophie Lloyd. Megan responded to the comment, suggesting the possibility by saying, maybe I got with Sophie. Megan Fox, known for her roles in movies like Transformers and Jennifer's Body, had her fair share of romantic relationships before settling down. Her first major romance was with her high school sweetheart, Ben Liehi, when she was just 15 years old. The pair dated for three years, from 2000 to 2003. Megan reminisced about their relationship, describing Ben as sweet, tall, and charmingly rebellious. However, their romance came to an end when Megan decided to pursue her acting career and moved from Port St. Lucie, Florida to Los Angeles, California, in hopes of achieving fame. Following her breakup with Ben Liahi, Megan briefly dated David Gallagher, best known for his role in the TV series Seventh Heaven. Their relationship lasted for about a year, from 2003 to 2004. They attended the premiere of Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen together in February 2004 before parting ways. Megan's most notable and enduring relationship was with actor Brian Austin Green, whom she met in 2004 while filming ABC's Hope and Faith. They got engaged in 2006, but faced a brief separation in 2009. However, they reconciled and eventually tied the knot in June 2010. Together, they welcomed three sons, Noah Shannon, Bodie Random, and Journey River. Despite their ups and downs, including a divorce filing in 2015, followed by a reconciliation, and the birth of their third child, Megan and Brian's relationship ultimately came to an end in May 2020. In a candid interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast in March 2024, Megan admitted to not treating Brian well during their marriage and expressed regrets about the level of commitment she had at such a young age. She reflected on her youth and the challenges of being in a serious relationship while still exploring her own identity. Megan Fox, known for her role in the Transformers franchise, was also linked to her co-star Shia LaBeouf. Their on-screen chemistry in the movies sparked rumors of a romantic relationship off-screen as well. Megan confirmed these speculations in 2018, revealing that they had a brief romance around the time their two films were released, in 2007 and 2009. Their relationship reportedly blossomed during breaks from Megan's then-boyfriend, Brian Austin Green, before they tied the knot. After starring together in the first Transformers movie in 2007, they reunited for its sequel, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, in 2009. Although the exact timeline of their romance remains undisclosed, Megan openly admitted to their romantic involvement 
during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in 2018. When asked about her relationship with Shia LaBeouf, Megan affirmed its romantic nature, expressing her love for him. Despite the brevity of their relationship, Megan's fondness for Shia was evident, highlighting the affection they shared during their time together. Machine Gun Kelly's dating history is also quite diverse, featuring several well-known names in the entertainment industry. One significant relationship in Kelly's past is with Emma Cannon, with whom he shares a daughter named Casey Colson Baker. Casey was born in July 2009 in Cleveland, Ohio. While Kelly and his daughter have occasionally made public appearances together, his ex-partner Cannon has mostly maintained a low profile. Another notable relationship was with model and activist Amber Rose, dating from April to June 2015. Kelly described their connection as natural and unexpected, emphasizing his willingness to embrace opportunities that come his way. In 2017, Kelly was linked romantically to singer Halsey after being photographed together on a beach. Although rumors circulated, both parties denied any romantic involvement. However, Kelly later confirmed during a September 2018 interview that they had been intimate. They also collaborated on Kelly's 2020 single, Forget Me Too. Additionally, Kelly was rumored to be involved with DJ and music producer Chantel Jeffries in July 2019. They were spotted together leaving various events, including a 4th of July party and a nightclub in West Hollywood, although neither confirmed the relationship publicly. In January 2020, rumors about a possible romance between rapper Machine Gun Kelly and actress Kate Beckinsale sparked after they were seen together at a Golden Globes after party. Their appearance together fueled speculation, especially considering Kelly's close friendship with Pete Davidson, who previously dated Beckinsale. However, Beckinsale quickly addressed the rumors on Instagram after facing criticism from a user who commented negatively about her being with Kelly. She responded with a sharp retort, urging the user to focus on real issues like the Australian wildfires instead of wasting time on baseless gossip. Later that same month, Kelly was linked to singer Noah Cyrus, younger sister of Miley Cyrus, following the Grammys. The duo attended a party hosted by Sony Music Entertainment, where they were seen holding hands and posing for photos. They were also spotted getting cozy at another after party, staying close to each other throughout the evening, even when Kelly stepped out for a smoke break. In March 2020, Kelly confirmed his relationship with fitness model Summer Rae by retweeting photos of them together, including one where they were kissing. However, their relationship seemed short-lived as Kelly announced their breakup on Twitter just a month later. He mentioned that Rae had retrieved her belongings from his house on his birthday, indicating an end to their romance. In December, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly were determined to overcome their relationship challenges and make things work. A source revealed exclusively to Us Weekly that Fox and Kelly, whose real name is Colson Baker, had experienced various ups and downs in their relationship. They could be great one day, but find themselves in arguments the next. The insider highlighted that despite their love and intense passion for each other, both Fox, 37, and Kelly, 33, have fiery personalities which sometimes complicates their communication. Despite their efforts, working through their issues has been a struggle. The couple's journey began in 2020 when they first met on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass. They announced their engagement in January 2022, less than two years after they began dating. Reflecting on the proposal, Fox shared an emotional Instagram post recalling the magical moment under a banyan tree in July 2020. She expressed their unawareness of the challenges they would face together, but emphasized the love and connection they shared. Despite enduring hardships, including laughter and pain, they emerged stronger, leading to Kelly's proposal and her acceptance. Fox concluded her post by symbolically referencing their bond by mentioning drinking each other's blood on 1.1122. Since their engagement, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly have faced persistent rumors of a breakup. In February, a source disclosed to Us Weekly that the couple had a significant argument during a Super Bowl party in Arizona. Following the disagreement, Fox removed all traces of Kelly from her social media profiles, sparking speculation about their relationship status. Just a month later, another insider revealed that Fox and Kelly had put their wedding plans on hold due to the volatility of their relationship. 
Despite these challenges, the couple has been seen together multiple times, seemingly in better spirits. In a recent poetry book titled Pretty Boys Are Poisonous, Fox seemed to hint at the highs and lows of her relationship with Kelly. Without directly mentioning him, she referred to her lover as a 32-year-old narcissist and a complacent rock star. She likened their romance to an addiction that couldn't be cured, indicating the complexities of their relationship. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.